Welcome to the Louis File. I wanted to talk to you for a moment about something. Um, when it comes to being a Christian, is it right, uh, theologically or sound theologically, to, to say that we sin all the time? You know, there are more and more people that I know love the Lord, that are uh, believers in Jesus Christ, that have this idea that they're committing sins all the time. I mean, it's almost like a mantra. Well, we sin every day. We sin all the time. I love the Lord, but I'm, I still sin every day. Now, I don't know if that's some kind of way of being humble or not, but you know, in Romans 6, Paul says, how shall we live in it any longer? If we've died to sin, how should we live in it any longer? And the Bible, in more than one place, tells us that it, the Christian can't continue in sin. The seed that is within us, Christ himself, cannot sin. Another thought here is that if we really are sinning every day, if we sin all the time, why aren't we more broke up about it? Why does it not bother us any more than than we seem for, it doesn't seem to bother us very much, my, my thoughts. Um, but on the other hand, if we, if we tell people that we don't sin as much as we used to, or if we don't sin every day, someone will think that we're deceived or that we're prideful or arrogant because we say we haven't sinned today. What exactly is this all about? <laughs> Jesus Christ came here to save sinners, to save us from our sin. John the Baptist pointed at Jesus and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now most people, I think, think their Christianity really boils down to, I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. And, and most will even tell you, I'm a forgiven sinner. They will uh, quote something like the bumper sticker that I've seen that says, Christians aren't perfect, they're just forgiven. You know, and as wonderful as being forgiven is, uh, I'm here to tell you that that's not all that happened uh, with Christ and the cross. You know, he shed his blood for our forgiveness. And he was buried, and then he was raised back to life for our justification. You know, if I'm just forgiven, if that's all I've got, if salvation only means that I am forgiven, then it very well could be true that I could live uh, believing that I'm sinning all the time. Maybe I actually am sinning all the time, but if, if what the Bible says is true, then that means that the very life of Christ has moved into me. I'm not only forgiven, but I am now indwelt by Christ himself, and he has given me eternal life, which is him. He has given me the power, the ability, and the desire, and the want to, to say no to sin and say yes to him. Of course, we can all commit sins, and we can all slip up, we can all be led astray, we can all be caught up in something. Um, but on the norm, the believer in Jesus Christ that is indwelt by him is not supposed to be living a lifestyle of I sin every day. If you are those that say you sin every day, I would suggest this. You need to really think, first of all, what really is sin and am I committing a sin? A lot of people are tempted by things and they think that in itself is sin. A lot of people have thoughts and feelings pulls toward things that they know are inappropriate or that they are off limits to them and those very pulls they think are sin. Well the Bible describes there's a difference between being tempted and actually committing a sin. There's a difference between it, I'm going to get in. I'm going to do another video based out of the book of James, the letter of James, and hopefully I'll I'll help you to understand this a little bit clearer. Uh, but until then, embrace the fact that Christ has dealt with the sin issue in our lives, and He has made us righteous by moving into us. He is our, the righteousness of God, and He has moved in to make us righteous. So we are to live off of Him through His life and by His life. And there's no sin in that. So uh, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.